Salut Tame and welcome to this new video where I'm going to show you how to connect your Polar H10 with your Apple Watch. Because not even Polar tells you how. Like seriously. What's going on guys? First of all, you don't need the Polar Beat app. It's just another fitness tracker you actually don't need. If you have paired the H10 with your phone, then go ahead and unpair it because otherwise it won't show up on your watch. Okay, now take your H10 and mount it, click it on your strap. This is the only way how it actually turns on. Seriously, there's no light indicator, but it's true. It's on now. So now you take your watch and then you go to settings and from there you go to Bluetooth settings and you scroll down to the health devices and you can already see that my Polar H10 appears here. Now I just have to click on it and I'm connected. So the watch now has connected with the Polar H10 and that's basically it. That's it guys. And now if you're done, you just put your watch on, you put your heart rate sensor on and what I like to do is also I like to check just in case, you know, if it's really connected again and uh, yeah, that's it. I go off for a run. Right, now onto some tips and tricks with the Polar H10. First, before you put it on, make sure you make this specific place here a little bit wet because it will, you know, work more properly, especially from the beginning. So when you put the strap on, make sure you put it on a little bit tighter, especially in the beginning. You know, when the feeling hits like, all right, that's tight enough, then just make it a little bit tighter because when you're running, then you probably will be sweating and the band, the strap will soak it in a little bit and make it a little bit heavier and a little bit loose. And you won't be out there, you know, fighting with your, with your strap, right? When you're back from your run, make sure you take the sensor out from the strap because otherwise um, it will just drain the battery. You know, there's no on and off button or something like that, which is okay. You just have to know that you have to take it out. Otherwise it won't shut off and you know, will drain the battery. And then you take this with you in the shower or I don't know, wherever you want to clean it just a little bit because it's just a piece of cloth in the end of the day. And you know, you have to take care of this one. All right guys, there's something I totally forgot to tell you. So how can you tell actually um, if you know the strap worked because it doesn't indicate in any way that it's connected with the Apple Watch and neither the Apple Watch is actually giving you any notifications or something like that. So but there is a little way how you can make sure that the H10 is connected. So after your run, especially after your first run, come back and check your phone because you will see that the run you did with only the Apple Watch without any heart rate sensor strapped on your chest will look a little bit different than the one you did with the H10. So I will show you that. Here you can see, you know, uh, in the app, when you click on your activity, then you will see that these lines are like, you know, have these little blocks. When you've done your run with the H10, then you will see the lines are a little bit smoother. In case you want to go with another watch in the future, uh, just be sure that the this heart rate monitor will work with other watches too. It will work with Sunto, it will work with Garmin, with Coros. So that's a quite nice thing though. You can really connect it easily with other smartwatches. And lastly, don't forget, you don't need all these things to be able to go out for a run, right? So the only thing that you need is some proper running shoes and that's basically it. All this stuff here, this is just a nice add-on. Alright, so wish you guys a happy running and see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.